Come closer. Come sit with me and join the warmth of my campfire. Or share a meal and a hot beverage with me. Please don't be scared, my friend. Welcome. Please join me. I have many stories to tell from many of my adventures and unknown travelers that I've met along the way. Welcome. Kaguti. Back into the shocking gray clouds of Stonefall we go, searching for indigenous hides to strip from the backs of lay beasts and shell for leather. This is a land seemingly cursed by fire and the constant belching of ash from the mighty red mountains. We thread ankle deep in dust along the great crater. Tracking is difficult, but injured is explaining to more subtle method of locating prey the Bashnag under these conditions most inclement. Her willingness to teach is commendable. But her pupil seems to be here with only a single purpose. To cave the skull of those that harm our party and to cook the flesh of the edibles one. Winding his knowledge seems almost insulting. Amusingly, it was Bashnak that first threw evidence of Kaguti activity. As he angry wiped his boots clean, Injard examined the spore more closely. Then she was off, following the trail up towards a ridge of rock and stunned mushroom growth. I explained the differences between a kaguti and an alate to footfall in snow. The two beasts share a similar collection of bones and toughness flesh, but the kaguti is larger, its back ridge more plated with tusk missing from its smaller cousin. The elite may lack the stature of the kaguti, but the scars across my arm from my youth when I venture across the Velothi mountains to hunt these easily slain critter reveal a more vicious temperament and more cunning attack instinct. In jarred motion for me, I ascended to her side and spied three kaguti. I instantly remember their stumpy leg and tail. Further along otherwise deserted caravan root below us. A fresh corpse that on an alchemist was being displayed with. Tiny gleam red eyes peered out below a helmet of plates. Snorting triumphantly, drool hanging from its fang and drooped slack jaw. The largest kaguti charged a dead dumner, ramming into the body and using its tusk to scoop up its prey. The merchant landed in a mango heap and lay twitching. Fenrig was summoned to position himself for an ambush, and he quietly split apart from the others, with his dog squirting the merchant's pat below to a vantage point of sharp boulder across from us. The Kaguti had bitten down into the still form of the dead elf, ripping open the alchemist's guts as it began to separate section of the Domri meat for its lesser brethren. I nod to Fenrig and you read our bows as Injard slid down the embankment, shield and axe at the ready. The Kaguti ball turned and roared at her, beginning a charge that ended with Injard's shield taking the full brunt of the Kaguti's heavy head. Injard staggered back, her axe already swinging. The Kaguti dropped its head and the axe scraped off with only a nick. Her second swing was more successful as her axe dug up through its chin. The Kaguti's eyes bulged and it sank into the ash floor with a wheeze. The lesser Kaguti had already fallen to our arrows sent with Kind's blessing between the plate armor. As Kaguti hide dried on our racks, Fang has growling at the Argonians again then hissing, which I hadn't heard before. Falling in snow, it seemed, had befriended a lizard creature, which had taken to its new master like an orc to violence. This was a scuttler, a more dog-sized, docile and intelligent cousin of the gourd, but not as tasty. It was snapping at Fenring's hound raising its back spine and flaring its necks rough. 
I nod to Fenric, who snapped his finger, and Fang slunk back to his feet while the scuttler rubbed the Argonian's leg and made an odd cooing sound. There is a fine line between pets and pets, and the Argonian may have crossed it. Footfall in Snow has a new friend, a scuttler. He hides in his many satchel, away from the hungry dogs. Our companion's hunt was successful, even though these harsh condition of the mighty red mountains of Stonefall. Unfortunately, Traveler, Elf, Alchemist, and Dumner did not have such fortunate events against these vicious foe, the Kaguti. So far, no signs of Bishnog has been affected by the Corpus disease, but let us still watch over him, just to be safe. The Argonian seems to have found a friendly pet, but this scuttler might not fit into the profile of a suitable pet for our little group. Footfall and Snow might make more enemies than he thinks. This is all for tonight. Sleep well, my friend, and good night.